At Gamescon, what we're unveiling is uh, a couple of modes in Spec Ops. What we're showing is a brand new uh, mission mode called uh, Invisible Threat, and that's where you and a buddy, one plays as a juggernaut and the other one plays as a sniper on the roof, and the juggernaut has to get down there in the streets and uh, disarm some IEDs while you're up there telling them where to go, taking out some of the enemies, but you can also call in uh, Predator drones. It's, it's pretty darn cool. The other mode in Spec Ops is Survival Mode, so we're showing a brand new map in Paris and uh, you know survival mode is wave after wave of different types of enemies which includes the juggernauts includes uh, you know dogs includes dogs with uh, C4 strapped to them uh, helicopters whatever it is and uh, survival mode has progressive ranking upgrades and a currency system you know all the stuff that you see in multiplayer Survival mode goes pretty far. As a matter of fact, uh, it's infinite waves. They get more and more difficult. You know, uh, it's it's uh, you know some special code has been written for it. And uh, but you know now each map is different. So in survival mode, you might have a jungle uh, map and you might have a city map, and we've got uh, you know mall maps, all sorts of stuff. And you'll never be able to predict predict what's happening or where they're coming from. Um, and uh, or what's coming next. We wanted Spec Ops to be limited to two people. It, like I said, it was a design choice that we just made over time, and uh, uh, for us it was, it was the right thing to do. Uh, we want to keep it, you know, smooth, crisp gameplay at 60 frames a second. We want the graphics to look great. You know, we want the, the experience to be really cool. And uh, it felt unique at two players. As far as Soap goes, I can't really talk about him. Uh, we are picking up where Modern Warfare 2 left off, uh, right there. So we're picking up, uh, you know, different stories. And we want, we're, we're going to make sure that this story pays off on all the investment you put into the other two games. We've been developing Modern Warfare 3, gosh, uh, close to two years, maybe maybe a little bit under. but. Um, and it's been a it's been a hard uh, yet fun and satisfying development. Uh, there's a lot of pressure when you're you're making this game. Um, you know, two years is actually a, a pretty good development time. It, it forces you to to make sure that every minute counts. Uh, get into your pre-pro right away. Now, I I won't kid you that I get a lot more tweets and a lot more Facebook and a lot more emails than uh, ever ever before. But this is a great great community. I mean, they give you feedback to make your game better. And um, they give it daily, and they want you to make do a good job. And that's all I want to do. We take the fan wish list into consideration all the time. Now, there's a lot of conflicting, you know, stuff. And that's what I don't think the fans understand is that we'll get people who say I want dedicated service other people say I don't and we hear that on almost every feature I love this gun I hate this gun uh, but we listen to them all the time we write it down if we hear we're, we're forwarding these tweets to uh, you know our designers or or whoever uh, this stuff is uh, it really made a difference on our weapon list this time we have so many ideas, you know, that don't get into the game. You know, you're always trying to, to best yourself. And there's some things that are just too big for the, even the consoles that we have right now. You know, we always want to throw one more tank in there or 10 more uh, different types of enemies. And so um, there, there's a lot more that we can add. We, we have a long way to go. Modern Warfare 3 will be out on the PC, the PS3, the 360, uh, DS, and the Wii, and it's coming out on November 8th. And don't forget, all you PC fans, we got dedicated servers coming.